Over the last 25 years, Ace Surgical Supply Company has been an innovator and leader in providing the medical community with the highest quality products and services for the complete rehabilitation of oral maxiofacial deficiency. Ace has focused on servicing its customers with new and innovative products for the patient's complete surgical and prosthetic reconstruction. Ace Surgical was the first to design the alveolar osteogenic distractor, the self-drilling bone screw system, the gradual step straight and offset osteotomes, the rigid fixation screw tack system, the surgical autografter, and the unique mesh and tenting screw system. ACE has developed the most complete line of restorative products with a user-friendly dental implant system. These products are evaluated at every design and manufacturing stage to maximize the final product's fit, form, and function. ACE Surgical Supply continues to develop the highest quality, state-of-the-art products while keeping focused on the need for affordability. ACE's team has remained committed to a partnership with its customers. This partnership will keep ACE Surgical and its customers on the cutting edge of technology as we move forward into the new millennium. This video presentation highlights the procedural steps in the use of the ACE Surgical Easy PRP Platelet Concentration System. In a little over 20 minutes in a lab setting, it permits the production of platelet concentrate from a small sample of blood and a general purpose centrifuge. All of the components for the platelet concentrating procedure come in a disposable kit. The two stainless steel blunt needles should be sterilized in standard fashion. At the same time, two 30 milliliter stainless steel containers and a small emesis basin should be sterilized as well. Prior to the start of the procedure, Blood is drawn from the patient by the use of a butterfly holder and yellow top blood collection tubes containing citrate dextrose anticoagulant. Alternatively, blood can be obtained with a collection needle and holder. Both are provided in the kit. In order to ensure even distribution of the anticoagulant, each blood collection tube is gently inverted at least five times. The tubes are placed in a suitable rack to await placement into the centrifuge. The ACE surgical centrifuge is constructed so as to permit low spin velocities and g-forces. It is turned on by the switch on the right. The top may then be opened by depressing the lever on the machine's right side. This reveals a six position angled rotor. The yellow top tubes may now be placed into the rotor. Always ensure that the tubes are counterbalanced as detailed in the centrifuge manual. The centrifuge cover is closed and the dial is set to 1300 RPM for 10 minutes. This will create a relative centrifugal force, or RCF, of 100. The spin is started by depressing the yellow toggle switch on the front right of the centrifuge. The motor is extremely quiet, but is in the spin mode when the green light illuminates once per second. This is seen on the left side of the front face controls. After the first 10 minute centrifugation, the YTTs are transferred to the tube rack. The blood in the tube has been separated into a straw colored plasma layer consisting of an upper, relatively platelet poor portion, and a platelet rich layer, often called the buffy coat, at the interface of the plasma and the red blood cell layer. The previously sterilized 2.5 inch needle is now attached to one of the 5 milliliter syringes provided in the kit. The two are connected by locking the needle into the syringe barrel. The rubber tops of the yellow tubes are removed and placed next to the rack. These topless tubes are placed in the back of the rack. An equal number of RTT containing no anticoagulant are placed in the front of the rack. Their tops are also removed and placed in the front of the rack. Using the two and a half inch needle and syringe previously attached, the straw-colored liquid is gently removed from the tube, moving the needle downward as you draw. Stop when you reach the red blood layer. Taking one or two millimeters of this red blood cell layer is not a problem, since it often contains significant platelet concentrations, and ensures that you have removed the entire platelet-rich plasma layer at the interface. This procedure is then repeated for each of the tubes previously centrifuged. 
The plasma contained in the 5 milliliter syringe is now gently expressed into a topless red top tube. It is very important to do this gently so as not to disturb the platelets. This procedure is performed sequentially for each of the previously centrifuged tubes. After the plasma has been expressed into the topless red collection tube, the red top is securely placed back on the tube. The red top tubes are placed into the rotor. Always ensure that the tubes are counterbalanced. The centrifuge cover is closed and the rotation speed is set at 2000 RPM, leaving the time at 10 minutes. This will create an RCF of 400. After the centrifugation, the red top collection tubes are placed into the tube rack and their rubber tops removed. The contents of the tube consist of a light straw-colored supernatant containing very low platelet concentrations. The bottom of the tube contains the platelet concentrate. Using the 2.5 inch needle 5 milliliter syringe assembly used previously, insert the needle as far as it will go into the tube, making sure the barrel of the 5 milliliter syringe meets the top of the collection tube. Now draw the straw-colored liquid into the syringe until the syringe draws air. This will leave a predetermined volume of 1.5 milliliters of liquid in the tube. Express the contents of the syringe into a suitable sterile container and proceed to repeat this procedure for the other tubes. The liquid in this container is the platelet-poor plasma. Attach the previously sterilized 3-inch blunt needle to a second 5 milliliter syringe. Using the 3 inch needle 5 milliliter syringe assembly, place needle into the tube with the remaining supernatant and platelet concentrate. Very gently mix the remaining solution by drawing the liquid into the syringe and expressing it back into the tube at least three times. Very gently express the solution from the syringe into a second sterile cup. The solution in the cup is the concentrated platelet-rich plasma. This completes the preparation procedure. You will now have two containers, one with a yellow-colored platelet-poor plasma and the other containing a red-colored platelet-rich plasma.